with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And once again, we got some gray skies and a little bit of rain to look forward to today. Mm -hmm. And I got a thing, to, uh, something to pass along before we get to the weather. You know, the flood relief efforts uh, and the events just continue in Rhode Island, uh, in Westerly, which of course was very hard hit by the floods. Yeah. There is a food and clothing drive going on at the Elks Lodge in Westerly that begins at 10 a.m. So just wanted to pass that on to our viewers uh, in the Westerly area. Food and clothing drive. 10 a.m. at the Elks Lodge. Excellent. All so right. many uh, good events have been yeah. going on for that flood relief. Effort. Yeah, our telephone last night, uh, yep. $131,000 raised. So. Yeah, lots of Channel 12 uh, people were there. Yep. I was there, and that phone was just ringing off the hook. So Great to hear. A lot of generous people around here. All right, let's get to live Pinpoint Doppler 12. And you can see many of us seeing some showers, mist and drizzle out there right now. It gets a little steadier as we go into the Attleboro's and out into eastern Massachusetts. But even that stuff is not really that heavy right now. The main issue is just fog, drizzle, mist, and the raw and chilly conditions. Now, uh, Danielle just mentioned that event going on in Westerly. We also have the uh, Seacock Shoreline Cleanup over at Gano Park uh, from 9 a.m. to noon today. This is an area which, of course, has great potential, but right now a lot of uh, weeds, uh, branches kind of sitting around the area, so a lot of that will be cleaned up today as volunteers get out there and help this area out. So uh, if you have a chance to volunteer at this event today, Come on outside and join. It will be on despite the fact that we are seeing the showers. All right, in terms of flooding concerns, we're not really concerned about any major rivers going over the banks. In Down City Providence, we've seen almost a half an inch of rain here from last night. It did get rather heavy overnight. You may have heard it while you were trying to sleep. About a quarter of an inch in Newport, about a third of an inch in Westerly, and about a third of an inch in New Bedford. We are, are under a flood advisory for the South Shore, Bristol County, Rhode Island, and Bristol County, Massachusetts for the next uh, 15 minutes or so, and then that should expire. Again, that will be for localized flooding, perhaps some ponding on the roads. That is not because of the potential of river flooding. Right now, temperature is 42 degrees. Those winds out of the northeast at 8 miles an hour. It is a raw morning out there. Temperatures in the 30s in some spots. 39 Smithfield, 42 Westerly, 42 in Newport. So chilly that it's possible as we go into this evening, a few wet snowflakes are possible, but most of us will just see the raindrops. There are the heavy rain showers as they pass through during the overnight hours. You can see things still remaining unsettled off to our west. That's why I will keep the chance of some showers in the forecast. Center of low pressure here in upstate New York. This is pumping some cold and moist air behind it. That's why we'll keep the chance of uh, showers in the forecast and maybe even some wet snowflakes, but no accumulation is expected here in Rhode Island or Massachusetts. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, notice uh, just some mist and drizzle. The green represents the steadier rain. You can see nothing showing up really right now as we go into the later morning. You can see a few blips of green show up. And then between now and, say, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there will be plenty of lulls where it's not really raining. We'll just be stuck with some mist and drizzle. But every once in a while, we, see, we may see one of these blips kind of fire up. And the same story as we go into tonight through tomorrow morning. You can see 1 o'clock in the morning, some more or rain showers move through, and it's possible some of this, especially here in northwest Rhode Island, could be in the form of a few wet snowflakes. Then into tomorrow, we'll see some showers in the morning, and then the trend will be to sort of melt those showers away as we go into the afternoon. As for this afternoon, chance of some showers pretty much all day long, but I think the chances do decrease as we go into the late afternoon. Temperatures not moving very far from where they are right now, unfortunately. Temperatures in the upper 40s for highs. 49 Westerly, 48 Charlestown, Coventry. I have 50. That may be a bit optimistic for today. Upper 40s for northern Rhode Island and out across the Cape and Islands in southeastern Massachusetts. Upper 40s with 48 in Hyannis. Now, tomorrow morning, I know we just have so many events to talk about this weekend, but this is another great cause. This is the MS Walk. Three locations, Providence, the Seawall in Narragansett, and Colt State Park in Bristol. Prepare for at least a chance of some showers in the morning, but the, by the time the events are wrapping up around the noon hour, we'll gradually decrease the chance of showers. Maybe even a spoke of sunshine or two into Sunday. Monday, partly sunny, 59 degrees for the uh, marathon up in Boston. Chance of some showers Thursday into Friday. So, you know, Danielle, I know you weren't really excited about my forecast, but at least some 60s showing up there in the seven-day. And if you want more excitement in the yeah. forecast, you can always watch this. This is Cox Digital Cable Channel 125 for the latest weather updates. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Pete. Yep. I know we're covering New England this morning. A Massachusetts superintendent.